Hey everybody, my name is Tyler Watson, your Las Vegas and Henderson Realtor. This is Tour Time with Tyler and welcome to Pinewood. Let's check out this model. So we are all the way up in the northwest, pretty much as far northwest as you can go in an area called Sky Canyon. Now it is a master plan community. This is a Pulte Homes community. Now this one right here that we're gonna to be touring is the Park Lane. It is a three to five bed, two and a half to four and a half bath, two to three car garage. Now your square footage is gonna depend on if you add those extra bedrooms because then you lose that third spot. So it's gonna be two plus tandem. So the standard size is 2,462 square feet. Now if you add that extra bedroom, you're gonna lose garage space, but you will gain extra actual interior livable space. But let's go ahead and come on into this one now. As I always say, please do me that huge favor and hit the like button. Also, make sure to subscribe. Again, I put videos out every single day, new tours daily. And little FYI, if you are new to the channel, I know we have a lot of new subscribers, but if you are new, you're thinking about buying new, make sure to call a realtor. Don't go into the sales office. Don't go speaking with the sales associates because they have their fiduciary responsibility to the builder. Little fun fact, as the buyer, if you bring an agent with you, you do not pay the commission, the builder does. So if you have questions about any of that, all my info down in the description below. I do like this entry area. It's nice, it's wide. This home, I don't even know if I mentioned the base price. 471,880 is what this home starts at. Now this home probably has, call it 150, 200,000 into it, maybe even a little bit more. So definitely keep that in mind and that's probably not including the backyard. HOA is 140 a month. Now that's both this community and Sky Canyon. Right here we have our laundry room. And where should we start first? I do like how open this area is. Now this is the single story collection. They have two story and single story homes, but they're gonna be in separate parts of the community. Oh my goodness gracious, I'm already in love. So upgraded flooring. Pretty much everything you see in here is an upgrade, but right here we have our vanities. Standard bumper though, but I do, do really like the sink. I really, really like the hardware. Really nice undermounted sinks. They are doing, oh, my hair is horrible right now. It's super windy out. They are doing a medicine cabinet and really cool towel hanger, but this is, Really, really nice. Now we have our double sinks, we have our toilet. Now standard is gonna be a fiberglass composite tub shower combo. They have obviously gone crazy with this stone all around glass enclosure. I do like the dark hardware, it's really, really cool. And it's, people call it different things, it's zero threshold or curbless. You can see there's literally, I don't know, a half inch little lip right there and that's it. We do have a bench, no sub niche, but it is an option, I do know that. Really nice, and I do appreciate where the towels are put. And they're put in a good spot, because you open the door and you can actually reach out and get it. I know I joke about other builders who, the towel bar might be in the bedroom, because they're so far away. Nice, nice bathroom, really nice bathroom. Right here we have our first bedroom. And it feels even bigger. I know it's a big room to start with, but the ceilings are 10 feet. Oh, excuse me, they're nine feet. We have eight foot doors, nine foot ceilings. So full size bed, two nightstands. I like this. It needs a tree or a seat or something over there. Other than that, and again, I'm joking. Dresser, you could easily, easily put a desk in here. It's a big room. It's a really nice size room. There's even little parks and whatnot. I do like this. Now this community is basically brand new. They've been open for about six weeks or so. So they haven't even delivered a single home yet. Very nice size room. And we have a walk-in closet. Not bad size. It's actually pretty big for a secondary bedroom. Again, if you wanna even add more space, you move up either this one or this one. You move that barred shelf up, you add a second one, and you've added an extra 50% to your closet space right there. Or you could do both. Just I always recommend maybe doing part of it because in case you have like longer clothes, either gowns or even garment bags, I know suits usually hang longer if they're in the garment bag. Right here we have our linen closet. 
Again, you could even add more shelves up above. These are really tall doors. Right here we hit our next bedroom. Not bad size at all. It is just a hair smaller than that other one we went into. And you do lose just a little bit of space right here because of the angle, but still a really nice size bedroom. You have a full size bed, two nightstands. I do like the window. Again, you could put a desk in here, no problem. Big dresser, huge dresser. And I mean, I don't even know if you need that big of a dresser because it does have a walk-in closet too. It's a neat bed. I know some people just watch the channel even for like inspiration ideas, like remodeling, that kind of stuff, what they could do to their house, want to see what builders are doing. It's a nice, nice size bedroom. I'm pleasantly surprised. This is my first time walking into this community. Again, it's brand new. And this closet is actually just a bit bigger than the last one. So coming out of this closet, let's come on back down and around. I do like this home already. I like this big chandelier. Pretty neat, right here in the entry. So coming across. Now, this is what I was talking about where you could have a three car garage, but they added the bedroom here. So this would be your two car garage. And then you could have a tandem or storage or third car right here, but they've obviously opted for the extra bedroom. Full size bed, two nightstands. My fiance would love that chandelier. But how cool is this bedroom? It actually is like a junior suite, ensuite. It's nice. And then even room for a dresser. It's definitely the smallest room so far, but again, this is gonna be one of those ones you option for. So I think even the ensuite bath is even an additional item. I don't know if they're doing it. Sometimes they do it, sometimes they don't. Depends on the community. It may just be a big closet, but I feel like if you're gonna option for the extra bedroom, it might as well be with the bathroom. So en suite, junior suite, you have your vanity, you have your toilet, and oh my. So they even did up this one. Glass shower enclosure. Now, again, that's gonna be like a cultured marble type thing. It's a man-made stone. It's actually really easy to clean because there's no grout lines. You literally have, what, like three seams in the entire thing. Even a bench, no soap niche, and I know. But check this out. An ensuite that is curbless. Oh my gosh. I'm a fan. I feel like this is the way to do it if you're gonna do it. But again, this is highly, highly optioned up. We spin around, we have our closet right here. And not a bad size closet either. Maybe just a hair smaller than the other two. But again, for a secondary bedroom, really, really nice size closet. Let me know down in the comments below, would you want the third car garage or would you want the extra bedroom? I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say because I know this one, you could actually even do, I believe five bedrooms. So right here we have our laundry room. So washer dryer now, they've optioned up quite a bit. They they put a refrigerator in here. <laughs> so highly, highly upgraded. I love this idea of having a second fridge. A lot of people try to do them in the, in the garage, like a drink fridge or whatnot, but they threw another fridge right here. So again, nothing in here is standard. They put the sink, they did the lowers, they did the fridge, they did the uppers. Really awesome, awesome idea. I love this. Uh, I would probably do more laundry if I had a laundry fridge in my laundry room. Really awesome idea. But let's go ahead and come on back out. And you could lose the office. So if you had the ability to pick which one, would you want the garage? Would you want the bedroom there? Would you want the bedroom here? Huh? Lots to think about. I don't know. Uh, I kind of like the garage space, but I kind of like that ensuite. Let me know what you guys have to say down in the comments below. This is a big, big den office lounge space. It's cool with the mirrors and how they did this. 
Really, really cool. So, I mean, huge couch. There's even space. I'm a little surprised, no tree. And then all of these bookcases, desks. I mean, you could have a really nice dining room in here. Formal dining. You could do a huge dining table, like a, I don't know, 16 person dining table in here. It's that big, really, really large. So we come across, what do we have right here? So private bathroom. I don't know what that's for. Maybe that's for the associates. I don't know. So you have a bathroom right there and then you have linens. I'm guessing we're going to have a powder room right there. Just my thoughts. Just going to guess based off of everything. Wow. Okay. I'm not going to show you everything. We're going to go find the master suite first. Oh my goodness. So they even did like the knife edge where you can open up everything. We'll get back there in one second. I'm getting ahead of myself. Again, if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. I put new tours out every single day. Nice master, big window. Maybe I would want to see a door here. I believe they have the option, but they honestly, they change their options like every single community, but full size bed, two nightstands, cool drop chandelier. They did, that's wallpaper. It almost looks like it's chevron wood, but it is wallpaper. It's big. I'm impressed. Now, while we're here, just so you know, when you buy new, you buy new construction, the backyard is not gonna be done. It's up to you to finish it however you so choose. Now, average backyard is somewhere between 10 and 15, 12 and 15,000. This is minimal landscaping, and it does have a little putt-putt. So it's gonna be on the lower end, but definitely keep in mind, it's gonna be up to you to finish it. So if you wanna add a pool, spa, heater, all of that good stuff, $45,000 minimum on top of landscaping. It needs something right here, a chair, a plant. Let me know what you think. Just because I feel like the room seems bare. There's a lot of room. And I know, again, this community is brand new, so maybe they'll change it here and there. Whoa, nice. Nice. So, upgraded to like the spa super shower, rain shower head, second shower head. I love the fact that the valves are right here. So this is called your toweling off area. So you can dry off right here. It is zero threshold, curbless. This is different. You don't see like the extra piece of glass all the time, which I kind of like. You have your bench over there, right here. And again, your two shower heads, no soap niche though. But again, I'm okay with that since there is the bench. My only, I guess that's where you'd have to put it. And again, I'm, <laughs> I'm really, really being nitpicky. The towels are way over here. Mm -mm -mm. I guess that's where you'd have to put them unless maybe you did like a small loop right here. I don't know, let me know what you think about it down in the comments below. Right here we have our toilet area and we have our vanities. I do like this color combo. I actually really like the fact that the handles are different than the fixtures. You don't see that all the time. I kind of like it, it's kind of cool. We have our undermounted sinks, huge piece of glass, but no medicine cabinets. I know that the other one had one but I kind of like the different vertical poles. It's kind of cool, kind of different. I know a lot of builders are trying to get away from medicine cabinets. They say it's looking sleeker, more modern. I, I agree, but at the same time, at least maybe in like the master suite, I would want it. Let me know what you think. Double bar and shelf all the way around here. We even have like shoe or folded clothes kind of. I'm gonna spin a little bit more. And then you have your single bar and shelf right here. So it's a big closet. You could easily do like an island, you know, with all of your drawers and everything for watches, jewelry, folded clothes, whatnot. It's good size. You could have, you know, California closets, any kind of closet company come in and really, really do it up. Now let's go back into the living space, kitchen, all that good stuff and check this out. That's probably one of the biggest couches I've ever seen. I don't even know how many, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess that may be the ottoman if you wanted to. 
Nine. There's nine pieces to it. It's huge. This base is big. Really cool chandelier. Do you like, and I've seen more and more people starting to do this, really, really, really dark accent wall. Is it wood? It's laminate or vinyl. It's actually wood. Oh. Do you like that idea? It's different. I like the chandelier. This living space is huge. I know some people watch the channel just for ideas, even remodel, whatnot, see what the builders are doing. It's a big area. It's a big room. And then you have your kitchen. Before we check out the kitchen, we have our dining area. So you almost don't need that formal dining area because this dining area is massive. I'm curious, let me know, would you keep that office or would you want to do it as a bedroom and keep the third car garage? I'm, I'm generally intrigued because I don't know what I would do. I love the fact that they did this. So you could open up this whole thing and that whole thing. Now, again, that's going to be an option, but this dining space, what do we have? Three, six, eight, eight chairs here. You even have the server. So you could do like buffet and whatnot. And it doesn't feel too small at all. Sometimes you get into the areas where like these tables are so cramped, not the case here. Look how wide it is. You can see all the way to the front door. Nice, nice kitchen. Really nice kitchen. Now, I don't know if these are the standard cabinets or the upgraded, but you know, there is quite a few upgrades in here. You can clearly see the fridge is built in. It's an upgrade. But before we check out that, they even have five bar stools here with your overhang. And I feel like they should have had it come around right here and put like two more just because there's so much space or even extend the island out even more. It's big. You have like your little espresso nook. And I just want to spin real quick. I feel like, and again, personal opinion, I feel like they should have come out like even with here just because there's so much space. There's a lot of space right here. Like just walking around, dancing, having fun space. There's a lot of room for activities. But coming back, they did the backsplash. Again, upgraded refrigerator freezer, 42 inch uppers. No phone jack right here. I wonder where they put it because I know they have it in the other models. I do like this fridge. And then we have, and it's making me so happy they're doing this. They're putting the extra shelf up there so you can even do more uh, storage. I wish the shelf was just a bit bigger, but that's what I tell people in other tours. You can always throw extra shelves up above so you have more storage. Now, this is cool. Convection microwave, oven, oven. So it's basically three ovens. Again, you have all the uppers, you have your cabinet space, and they even did the lighting underneath as well. You have your cabinets. Before we check out over here, real quick, if I spin, we have, these ones always are so funny. Because what are you gonna do with that? I guess like paper towels and that kind of stuff. You have your dishwasher, you have your really cool, it almost looks like a Blanco sink. So those are like $600 to $1,000 sinks. And I kind of like the offset drain. Here is your view while washing dishes. Again, this room is so large. You have more cabinetry right here and this, I wish more builders would do this. I'm seeing it more and more, but I love the full trash can. I know some people are doing it. I love it. I used to have it at my old condo. I put it in myself. We have our main oven, or I guess you can, either one could be main. We have our five burner cooktop again, more backsplash. We have our vent hood, more storage. And it looks like they do have a phone jack right there. Neat home, neat single story. Let me know what you think about this one. I am generally curious about this. Or did I say generally? Genuine. <laughs> I can't even say it. I really am curious about what you guys think about this. Let me know down in the comments below. Again, if you have questions, please feel free to reach out to me. I'd love to answer anything. If you want to see new home resale, anything in between. Also, make sure to hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe. Again, I put videos out every single day, new tours daily. And as always, thanks for tagging along with Tour Time with Tyler. Stay safe out there, everyone.